Welcome back, peeps. I know it's been a little while since we last uh, played through and filmed this. Uh, thank you for your patience. We've been uh, setting up and arranging for our Pokemon challenge that we'll be doing. And uh, we've also set up some things so we could have a Yu-Gi-Oh card uh, battle and opening video. And we also got some more plans for Unbroken Bonds. So uh, a lot going on, been kind of busy, but thanks for the patience. Uh, let's get back to this Dynasty Lock playthrough for Dragon Warrior Monsters. Now, last time that we were uh, having a video here, we saw an earthquake, we got through some arena, we had the Battle of the Dragons. So um, let's just go jump right back into this. Now this gate that we see up at the top here was uh, occurring because of the earthquake. Now if we look at these two, got this guy thank you spirit of the great tree he says and this one is like oh darling kisses so two lovers reunited that were once separated by these holes uh and let's get into this gate right here wonder what will be in store for us now i do know that this boss will be a bit of a challenge it's got quite some uh, good moves very high attack let's see how our monsters uh stack up against it and from the looks of it, it's 11 floors, which is a little longer than some of the other uh, gates that we've been through so far. So that should indicate some good challenge coming up. Ooh, look at this, three monsters that we, uh, well, one anyway that we've seen in an arena battle and two that we haven't even seen yet. So some new stuff coming up. But what stands a, a 53 attack, it's got some pretty good defense. We've got some pretty strong stuff in store for us here. Attack not so good. Tony got a, a lot of damage done to him there, but we got a lot more HP than we used to. This guy's gonna go down after this hit. Danny's straight wrecking things. Definitely better experience than we're used to seeing for these monsters. That's good. Let's see what we end up having here. Ooh, another fight. Definitely liking the experience uh, differential here between this and the last gates that we were used to here. Ooh, a full force Danny attack. 161. Ouch. Down goes the fairy Drac. So we have not caught a monster from this gate yet. Which means that uh, if we do, whatever we do catch first will be the one we get from the gate to use. How far have we been along here? We didn't exactly go through that thing above the hole. Let's just see what we have. Nothing here. Ooh, a mad raven. That's a pretty cool thing. A little po-bird going on there. Hmm, Danny, bad choice. You're a lot more useful when you just attack. Alright, there we go. KO'd. 121 experience. These guys will start to level pretty soon here, which I'm very glad to see. Definitely need to train up a bit. Oh, great, more uh, rooms to go through, so to speak. More little compartments. is quite the elaborate little map here. We're only on the first floor. Wish Tony had a multi-attack. That'd be really useful. Danny is certainly way more useful just doing a normal attack than it is using Blaze Air. A pork chop, okay. Better than beef jerky. A gang of butterflies. Okay, these guys are gonna go down pretty quickly here.
His attack is a little better. Why are you trying to attack something that's in the air? Not very smart. It's okay, they did not do much to us there. Okay, I think we can uh, possibly finally just go ahead and go to the next floor. Maybe just go up one more just to see if there's any items over there. Taking a little damage here, it's still not anything to worry about. Okay, we can go to the next floor. Got everything we needed explored here. Hoping maybe if we just defeat these guys here, we'll level up because we've got quite a bit of experience so far. and go for the heal, but we didn't need it there. Oh, Skull Roo happens to be the one that we take. I wonder what family that is. I feel like it's going to be a beast. Let's name you, uh... Hmm. It's going to name you, like, Kanga from, uh, Winnie the Pooh, but we can't really fit that. Let's just go with this. It's like Kanga and there's Roo. What are you? Beast. Okay, so that'll be something we could potentially use with Tony at some point. At least we could breed some skills in with it. But nothing that I want to use now, because it certainly isn't going to be very useful in the skate. That panty dance is kind of a cool technique. It confuses things. Confusion works pretty similarly to the Pokemon games, actually, in the kind of thing where they either can overcome it or they attack themselves in some way. Okay, staff, I'll make use of that. Why don't we do this? Use up some of these herbs. Make room. Okay. I already know what's in store for me monster-wise uh, with this boss battle, but... Uh... Oh, that's a heal all now. Forget about that. That's really nice. I think that only consumes somewhere between like 7 and 12 MP too for the heal all attack and that's exactly what it sounds like, full health. It's very useful in fights so I don't... Unless this boss ends up just doing absolute major damage in its attacks, I don't anticipate it being a problem if we have heal all. Just pick up the love water instead. So the love water is sort of the upgrade item of uh, the herb. So let's just get rid of the herbs, get the love waters. Okay. So we've searched through that part. Let's go up. And because of the poison on the floors that can do damage, I'm kind of thinking if I encounter this hole when I go up, I'm just going to go through it instead of searching all the items, just to avoid any unnecessary damage. Not that doing two damage for stepping on one of these is going to wreck you, but prevents you from having to use items. Okay, and we're right next to the hole again. Mapper, not really that useful. Hopefully this isn't a large map. Let's go with all in on the attack here. Pretty close to max HP. Alright, now let's 
try to do something that can actually reach that. Nice, that's gonna kill it. Blazemore is a great attack. Solo attack, anyway. Ah, level 20. So we got a 20 and a 21. Leveling up pretty good there. Now, their growth limits aren't gonna be huge, but they're not gonna be that low either. They're gonna be kind of in between. I expect something in the 40s or 50s. Let's just go ahead and use this so I can get that rib. I like the look of this rib here. Could be very useful if we encounter a foreign master. Don't have any intentions really of catching these guys, but. Oof, 72. Ouch. That is a heck of an attack. I wonder what we're looking at experience-wise here. So you got 424, you're pretty close. 213, wow, Tony's really uh, slow growing right now. Only on about a whole four or five. Yeah, four. Oh, a Mimic, this is our first look at a Mimic here. Now these guys can be kind of tough. We're gonna have to strategize for these because uh, they can certainly rack up a ton of damage on you really quick let's try this and let's try this mimic's not affected by that doesn't fall asleep oh thankfully it's just blaze more okay this thing's not going to be as dangerous as i thought it will give us a lot of experience though 200 on its own. Now when we get to the later uh, stages in this game, those mimics will still show up, but they will have the blaze most, which is the advanced form of that blaze more there. And that thing can do like 180 damage in one go. So it can be really devastating to your team. Look at this mud draw. That's an interesting animation for that guy. I don't know what's going on. He looks very disturbed. Twin Slash from Snark, that's pretty cool. 250, so Mudron's giving us a lot of XP there. That's pretty cool. I do believe it has some very debilitating attacks, things like uh, Curse and Poison attacks and things of that nature. So uh, that's something to watch out for. It's pretty cool. Snark here is getting used to using Twin Slash. Uh-oh, confusion. Oof. Now we see the effects of Panda Dance. Oof, try to attack uh, one of its teammates there. Uh-oh. This won't be fun. Attacking itself. Attacking itself, uh oh. We're gonna need to. Let's use a love water. Oh crap. Well, thankfully, uh, we got a lot of. Uh, a lot of gates to go here, so hopefully we can. Uh, eventually resurrect Danny there. That was interesting. Confusion can really wreak havoc. Do I have a... I do have a world leaf, so I guess if we get to the boss at some point and we haven't resurrected Danny yet, we can still use that. The world leaf will revive a fallen monster. And there's a healer. Cool. Let's take this guy out. Blizzard use. Interesting. King Cobra. All right. Uh-oh, okay. I'm gonna need to take that guy out. Alright, this is gonna be an interesting fight, actually. These guys are pretty formidable. Let's go with... Big Trip. And I want you to do... Super.
Sorry about that. Someone uh, came home there. Let's go ahead and uh, wrap these guys up. Let's kill these guys. A big trip was helpful. It's going to prevent us from losing this fight. Oh, does a beat attack. Look at this guy coming in with the beats. Okay. Things got interesting. Let's go with uh, Blazemore. Just gonna KO it. What a fight. Snark takes it out, and we are fully healed and revived. I hope the rest of these gates are that short. I don't like walking around in this. And of course the healer is right here too. Lots of healing going on. Foreshadowing perhaps to all the healing we're going to need to do against this boss in the fight. So 7 out of 11 floors down. Do want to see what's over here. And some money. Possibly a tiny metal. Okay. Pretty quick. Ooh, Drax Slime. Now this guy can be kind of annoying to fight. Drax Slime there can uh, use an inhale attack that boosts the power of its breath related moves and that thing can uh, do quite a bit of damage for a little guy. So that could be a pretty cool attack there. That thing I think is what will boost the power of breath attacks for Danny, and that's going to be very helpful, especially for multi-fights. That takes a deep breath. I think that's what that is, the suckle. Can we get rid of? We got a lot of love water. Mm. Stitch one of these warp wings. Could use all the healing items you can get because this guy uh, that we're gonna fight is gonna do quite a lot of damage. Too bad. Hopefully this uh, bottom part that we get to is the last part of this hole. A lot of attacks going on here. Not a lot of uh, multi-attacks. Not very smart on their part. Well, let's take this guy out. Okay. Of course there's another floor. I don't want to deal with these guys. Too much waste of MP for not enough experience, if you ask me. Skybell, not really worth picking up. Staff, I'll be interested in that. A warp staff, okay. Could use a second one of those. Let's give this to Tony. Same deal. Not a lot of experience in that fight for me. 
And we're on to next hole. So I think we're at 9 out of 11, which is quite nice. And hey, a healer, another one. Again, I think it's quite ominous. We're going to need a lot of healing in this fight coming up. To play a pretty strategic game. So we'll be on a 10 out of 11. We're only going to do one gate today. We'll get to the others in a uh, different video. Let's see what we have here. Another love water. There's really no experience in this fight for us. Another rib. I will take a rib for sure. Let's get rid of the antidote. I don't think there's going to be anything with poison that we're going to face. Unless we find a foreign master. Hey, it's the home theme. That's interesting. So does this imply that we are in fact at home? I don't think this is the one I was thinking of then. I don't think this is the same boss. I think this is a different one. This one should be quite easy, actually. Yep, okay, so this is a different fight. <laughs> Snuck in because I'm so, she's so beautiful, apparently. I wanna check out what's in here. Packed with dresses. Just wanna check around. So it says, seeking the one I saw in a vision, a touching story on the bookshelf. Make your money grow. Do not make fake money. <laughs> I suppose. Get out. I'm not going to give my Betty to anybody. Oh, my Betty. Okay, let's talk to Betty again. We've got everything we need to look at. How did you get in here? You must have crept in here because I'm so beautiful. We'll say no this time. Then did you sneak in to steal something? Yes. Little thief, I think it's past your bedtime. Okay. So it's not because you're beautiful, it's not because we want to steal something, because beautiful, no. Must be a master who's come to capture me. Okay, yeah, sure. You don't know how to behave in front of ladies, I'll teach you some respect. It's a copycat monster. Interesting. Okay, well, let's go with a uh, stop spell. I'm going to have you go with cyclic. I'm gonna have you go with. Let's just have you attack. So it gets even and dodges the attack. Alright, so it's not affected by cyclic, so we can give up on using that. Let's try sleep all. You can go with. Well, you might as well just go with an attack. And you too. Put to sleep. I might as well just charge at this thing now. It's asleep. Nothing really to lose on that. This thing is really not the most powerful monster. I just want to avoid it from using the get even attack. And also, uh what you call imitate, and then you also want to prevent it from transforming because it can do that. Yeah, this thing's days are numbered here. This thing's getting wrecked. Might as well just finish this thing off now. Good night. And it got up and he's looking at us. Oh, we gotta actually get rid of a monster in order to take this thing in. Interesting. So I caught one of these guys. I don't know if we really need it. Let's get rid of the more useless monsters here. That's a beast again. Those are kind of useful, actually. You know what? Bean. Bean is the least useless one that we have, I think. Mad Raven. Omar's kind of good, actually. Sean. Yeah, 
Yeah, let's go with Bean. See ya, Bean. I think mine is a pretty good name for that. Can't use it. It's a zombie family. Interesting. Okay, let's go ahead and send that back to the farm. Now, see the guy after all, I'm gonna like you, so she got up, followed us. Doing well, huh? Let's go home. Not much to say on Wannabe's front, I suppose. Be a copycat, loves to imitate everything, but nobody can imitate my regal character. Right on. Exaggeration, you're busy, you're dismissed. Okay. So that one was a pretty easy fight, actually. <laughs> Got full up on the uh, items, we're full up on the farm monsters, so uh, we'll have to condense a little bit perhaps before we end this video. I think that we should go and see what we can breed with. And I did have the question as to what the growth limits were, so why don't we check that out. 33, that's not that high actually. It's a little lower than I thought it would be. 42 for Tony and 37 for Danny. Okay, so this is going to be a situation where we're going to need to breed these guys pretty soon too. Can only do it if they stay the same species. So let's see what we can do here. First of all, we do have some. We don't have any eggs. Okay. So one thing we can do is breed Kanga or Cake. That'll help with Tony. Don't know how many of the beast monsters we actually have. Mm. Yeah, it's just the two. Okay. There's a battle rex here. That'd be quite useful at some point. Just not now. Okay, let's go with Kanga. Or no, Cake. Let's go with Cake and Mine. Let's see what we got. A Skullroo again. Another Skullroo. I think the same thing would happen if we did other stuff. Hmm. What if we can see if we can get some unique monsters out of that copycat? So if we did Fang with Mine, we just get a healer. We've already had that. No big deal there. We go with Mime and Fang, a Mudron, we can easily catch one of those on our own, no need to do that. Um, hmm. Let's see here, uh, well here's Omar who's not really very useful to us, quite decent from our breeding here. Technically it's something we could use, but not anything particularly useful at the moment. Ellipsy, huh? It's kind of an interesting thing there. Dark crab. I wonder what happens if we mix. Thank you. Stag bug. Interesting. Hmm. It's not a lot worth having here at the moment. I go cake. Not a lot of females. It's kind of a problem for us right now. Huh? 
I think this will result in a similar thing, but without having to waste the copycat. It's just the same skull there. Now we got some garbage in here right now. Uh, This guy's gonna be useful later, we gotta save him. Um, and this guy's gonna be useful as well, so we gotta save that. Well, we can increase the strength of the blizzardy this way. So why don't we do that? figure out a meat for Kanga here so we can increase strength okay grizzly can be kind of cool but I don't know if it's gonna be particularly useful to use there You know what, we might as well. We're never using this, and it frees up some space, and it'd be something that could be something good to breed with Tony because of the uh, high attack and the ability to learn Twin Slash. So let's go with that. Give us a Twin Slash for Tony. Here, I think we should just condense some stuff and combine some skills. Why not? It's not a bad idea. The ellipsy out of it. Oops. Should just go ahead and do mm. Sean or something here. I think it's gonna result in the same thing, yeah.
Alright, let's get rid of Slib. We're not really using him. And then we can just go with one more, and that'll wrap up after that for today if we just kind of combine two more of these guys. Clear out a lot of room. Mm. Let's go with... If we go Sean and mine. Toadstool. That's kind of interesting, actually. I don't think we've had a toadstool before. Toadstools are kind of cool. This thing seems to be providing some good options, though. A mummy. Hmm. You know what? We'll stick with this for today. Because I think that if we just go with Sean, maybe just go with one of these symbol monsters. Go with a mad plant. Hey, uh, I think that's nah. All right, we'll just leave this off for today. So when we uh, return, you'll see the progression of these particular monsters after I've kind of trained them up a bit. We've got Blizzardy, Grizzly, Lipsy, very interesting looking one there, the one that was separated from its lover above in the gate we just finished, and a mad plant. So, uh, yeah, that, those will be ones you'll see trained up a bit more and ready to maybe breed into the other monsters a bit when we uh, do our next video. So, uh, not a ton of progress made in terms of the gates and everything today. We did get a cool new zombie monster, as we saw there. Uh, but that will lead into some stuff that we get to do a bit later. And uh, on top of that, we uh, also will have... Uh, another sort of actually you know what let's do one more thing we've got a goopy here to defeat and rock paper scissors let's play it let's memorize the pattern so rock um all right so paper a second okay this will be rock scissors um, let's go rock again Okay, so it's rock, scissors, paper, literally in that order, okay. Rock, scissors, paper. Okay, so he doesn't want to go paper twice. Rock, scissors, paper, paper. Okay, so it's going to be three papers in a row. Interesting. Okay, here's my paper. Paper. Oh, okay. So I guess it's rock now. <laughs> Interesting. Give me a prize, go to one of my brothers, something good will be waiting for you. Cool. So, uh, we will see that surprise next time around. Um, as I was going to point out here, as we go up, there's a... If I had something with a lightning skill, I'd be able to get another gate, but I do not. Um, if I present somebody over there with a in the bazaar with a fire skill monster and give it to him then they will award me with a uh, another traveler's gate as well. Waiting for me, give me permission to C-class and beyond, and if you do S-class, you're the rep. So we can certainly do some more uh, class battles to come. That'll be pretty cool. What's this guy got to say? Oh, he makes a C-class. Interesting. So our little rival in there is uh, moving on up as well. And look at this. This is the surprise gate we will be visiting on our next filming. What do we have in here? 
It's a metal man. If I believe him, I can breed with his monsters. That's cool. A fang slime, huh? Interesting. I already got a fang slime. Why don't I breed it with the fang slime? Why not? Double fang slime. That way I can affect the gender of what I want to use it for. Okay. Okay, and this one just wants a wing slime. Alright, now we will end the video. Now that we've got all the stuff that we uh, needed to take care of, next time around we will be uh, advancing to the next class, opening up some new gates, and definitely checking out this gate here. So, I'm Chicken. Until next time, uh, go ahead and like, subscribe, comment, and share the video, and stay tuned for our upcoming filmings, which will have our Pokemon Randomizer Challenge, which will be a three-person thing, as well as some card openings. Take care.